I was prepared, if the worst would happen, that I might lose my life in Iraq. I was prepared for that. I was extremely proud to be there with our troops and for our country. And uh, it overrode any misgivings I might have had. In Iraq, Daniel Hoagland didn't wear a uniform. He was one of hundreds of thousands of U.S. citizens who willingly went to work in a war zone as a civilian contractor. But when he shares war stories today, they aren't about battles with insurgents. Rather, a prolonged fight with the insurance giant AIG. I have more respect for the Taliban than I do AIG. At least the Taliban tell you they're going to kill you. AIG does it behind deaths. This is Hoagland in southern Iraq in 2007, not far from the city of Basra. He worked for KBR, the U.S.-based global engineering construction and service company. He was helping construct a forward operating base, or FOB, but there were always attacks. Without knowing it, Hoagland coped with the constant stress of incoming mortars and rockets and IED blast by grinding and gnashing his teeth. I didn't even think it was a discomfort. I didn't even know I was doing it until I started having tooth pain. And I didn't even relate it to that. On leave with Donna, the woman he met in Iraq who would soon become his wife, he got startling news while receiving dental work in Thailand. The dentist told me I needed massive work done. I was amazed, surprised. I couldn't believe it because I had been less than a year before that fully cleared uh, and hired uh, by KBR. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that uh, I had such advanced and major dental problems was just an amazement. It was 2007, Hoagland had impacted teeth, bad gum infections, and needed root canals. His dentist said it was all caused by the constant grinding of his teeth. Dental repairs were going to cost about $14,000 money he didn't have. By this time, Hoagland was back in his hometown of Medford, Oregon. Suddenly, his world was turned upside down. Hoagland wasn't done in by bullets and bombs, rather chronic dental pain. KBR sent him home saying he was unfit to work in a war zone. And according to court records and official documents, that is when AIG dug in its heels. They maintained Hoagland had the health problems before he deployed. Therefore, they weren't obligated to pay. How upset does it make you when you hear AIG said all of this was a pre-existing condition? Uh, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm not even sure how to react to it. Hoagland, uh, now without a job, income, into, or insurance, began researching and reaching out to lawyers. More than a year and a half later, vindication, in part. A lawsuit that went before the U.S. Department of Labor said AIG had to pay workman's comp thousands and thousands of dollars in back pay and pay for dental treatment. But it was a hollow victory. Uh, radiology report stating stage four cancer. This was uh, heartbreaking. By now, dental decay was so bad, all his teeth had to be pulled, and he developed tonsil cancer. His doctors say exacerbated by the buildup of infection from his dental problems. AIG doctors testified Hoagland used to smoke, drink alcohol, and court records show they allege Hoagland's chronic dental disease was caused by his own hand and total disregard for basic dental care. AIG also says Hoagland abuses his pain medication. Hoagland is now part of a class action suit on behalf of civilian contractors who believe they are being treated far worse than troops in uniform who they work side by side with. I can't tell you the exact number of injuries, but in the last 10 years, the Department of Labor reports 75,000 injuries and deaths uh, of contractors in Iraq and Afghanistan. Washington, D.C. Attorney Scott Block filed the suit. He says it's early, but already has 20-some defendants. He says contractors and many insurance companies are simply shirking their responsibilities. The reality is that they're not paid the benefits that they're told they're going to be paid. And as soon as they get injured, they are fired. Hoagland says it didn't have to be like this. Uh, quote, if the gum disease were treated, it is likely that his cancer diagnosis would have been made sooner. That is testimony from AIG's own doctor. By all accounts, Hoagland was an excellent worker under harsh circumstances, receiving accolades from his employer. He holds no ill will toward KBR, but believes AIG should have paid for $14,000 worth of dental work years ago. 
After his cancer diagnosis, Hoagland's doctor said he had a 60% chance of living five years. That was three years ago. Three years of fatigue, stress, pain, and a very uncertain future. Gonna be all right, gonna make you well. Sean Caleb's mm. CCTV, Medford, Oregon.